Beloved, welcome to day 24 of the Bonaventure Lenten Challenge. Today, we reflect on, Lord, let my soul blossom like a flower, that I may bear lasting fruit, with Father Nemorius K. Domanzing. Our bed is of flowers, by dens of lions encompassed, hung with purple, made in peace and crowned with a thousand shields of gold. Beloved in Christ, as Christians, we are constantly invited to establish an intimate relationship with our God. This intimacy is what St. John refers to when he says, Our bed is of flowers. The soul and God are married at this point and are in bed experiencing intimacy. It is always our soul's desire to see God and rest in his abode. To enable us to achieve that desire, we must seek the knowledge and wisdom of God in our daily lives. It is only when the soul discovers and embraces the secrets and graces of God that it experiences a deeper sense of satisfaction and produces good virtues. We must always bear in mind that it is only when the soul is encompassed by Christian virtues that we can attain perfection in the sight of God. Such virtues are so perfectly ordered and so joined together and bound up one with another that no part of it is weak or exposed. Dear friends, let us strive to keep our souls from being contaminated by worldly things. We must not allow evil intentions to penetrate the soul. Once we ensure that the soul is united to God alone, it becomes so defended and so strong in virtue that the enemy can never overcome us. When we are constantly in union with God, the devil is not only afraid to attack our soul, he dare not cross our path. We know very well that the devil fears a soul transformed by the love of God and neighbor. In other words, Satan is in great fear of that soul which has attained perfection in God. Throughout this season of grace, let each one of us seek the Christian virtues which will enable us to remain in union with God. Such virtues will preserve the soul in such peace and security that it will be wholly built up in peace. The virtues and graces which God bestows on us are signified and maintained by his love which brings forth fruits in our lives. When we are in the state of perfection, our souls become like a den of lions where Christ dwells and enables us to acquire and possess the necessary Christian virtues which produce peace, gentleness, and fortitude. We must always bear in mind that all the virtues, riches, and blessings of the soul are sustained and produce those good fruits only in the love of God and charity. The scripture for meditation is Song of Songs, chapter 1, verses 16, continued from chapter 8, verse 1. Activity for today. Take some time of today and fix your gaze on an image of Jesus the cross or the sacred heart, and soak in the love that God has for you. In this time of prayer, do not talk. Just allow your mind and heart to reflect on how much God loves you. Let us pray. Lord, 
Help me to identify the things that defile my soul and give me the grace to reject them and return to you with all my heart that I may become a new creation all the days of my life. Amen. Thank you and see you tomorrow.